Can I give some blue hair? There's blue hair. Blue hair. One in 68 children have an autism spectrum disorder. The problem is there have been so many treatments that are being pushed to families to cure their child. And so very little of them actually live up to the promise. I want red marks. There you go. My name is Brooke Ingersoll, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Psychology at the College of Social Science. And I'm also the director of the Autism Research Lab at Michigan State University. Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, is a neurodevelopmental disability, and individuals with ASD experience significant impairments in the development of social communication. The stress that parents experience is extremely high, so oftentimes when we see these parents, they just don't know what to do, and they don't know where to go. I was so overwhelmed and wondering what the future would hold and how to communicate with her, how to really reach her. At this point, there is no cure for autism, but what we do know is that there are lots of interventions or treatments that we can do that can improve the quality of life of the child as well as the family. I wonder if you like modeled a new activity if she would like imitate you like you would just see When we are doing intervention, our goal is to improve their ability to socially interact with others, to engage with others, to understand what others are communicating to them, as well as to help them use more appropriate skills to get their needs met. And the thing that's been so motivating to me is to see the changes in the families, the parents who, for the first time, feel like they have the skills to be able to play with their child on the floor, that they feel like their child is connected to them. It helped me think of different ways of communicating with her. There was a point where it had me imitate what she was doing, and she just stopped. She saw me imitating her, and she stopped what she was doing, and we barely got anything done that day because she kept coming over to me and, like, grabbing my face and laughing, and it was just, it was amazing. <laughs> now, coming in here and seeing how much more she can do in the last two years, since almost two years, two years in November, I think. November was the first time we came. Huh. <laughs> We're seeing many, many more individuals now with a diagnosis of ASD. We are not necessarily seeing a a similar increase in the number of services that are available. One of the big projects that we have going on in my lab right now is the use of telemedicine to be able to deliver parent-mediated interventions from a distance so we can have families who aren't near an intervention center who can still learn intervention techniques to use with their children. MSU research has impacted my and my family's lives by giving us the tools that we needed to help Maggie. Research allows us to move beyond just anecdotal evidence to really understand whether interventions are working, and if they're not working, ways we can change them to make them more effective. That has been one of the things that is just, that kind of gets me so excited about this work, is that we can improve the lives of the kids, and we can also improve the lives of the families. <laughs> you know your way out, right? Yeah, totally.